Good morning. It's Sunday and it's raining out, so we're going to stay here for a minute and talk from bed. We'll talk a little bit about anxiety. Bedtime used to be a time that I looked forward to. Tucking myself into my comfy bed and Maddie settling in next to me and yeah, you. And letting go of the day, turning on some nice music, maybe playing a, a mindless game to sort of turn off the world. And I'd sleep so deeply Sometimes I dream a lot. In fact, I dream a lot all the time. So I wouldn't always wake up rested. But I still loved bedtime and being in bed and snuggling with this one. And lately I've been experiencing this nighttime anxiety. I'll be fine. I'll feel totally fine. until I get into bed. And actually, sometimes even that's fine. I'll get into bed and I'll feel totally fine until I close my eyes and try to fall asleep. And I try to, you know, go mindless. I try to meditate. I try to pray. I try to let go. I try and I try and I try. And I think that's part of the problem is I'm trying too hard. Because what happens is a backlash of fears and panic and worry and nausea and thinking about, you know, well, what if this and what if that? And, and it's not even so much about what's happening the next day or anything. It's just what if, what if, what if? What if something catastrophic in the world happens? What if I die? And so suddenly, bedtime has become this monster. And even knowing that doesn't really always help, because I tell myself, you know, Rachel, you know that this, this is bound to, it's bound to happen if you think about it, so just get into bed and think differently. And get into bed and remember how lovely it used to be, and just focus on and now, don't think about, oh, I hope it doesn't happen again, or what if it happens again? Don't think about that. Just be in the now. And sometimes that works. And sometimes it doesn't. And I'm sharing this because I'm guessing I'm not alone in feeling this. I know quite often people say, you know, don't share negative stuff. Nobody wants to hear negative stuff. Keep sharing the positive. And I think this is positive because I know I'm not alone. I know someone else out there is hearing this and going, oh, you feel that too? Oh, I'm not abnormal. I'm not strange. I'm not weird. We're not. What we are is in need of comfort and encouragement and support. And that's why I'm sharing this. We're all walking each other home. So if you're feeling this way, Let's talk about ways to fix it. Let's talk about ways to work with it. Let's talk about meditation. Let's talk about breathing. Let's talk about drinking enough water during the day so that I'm not dehydrated. Let's talk about the dark stuff so that we can walk each other towards the light together. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for letting me share. 
And if you've got ideas, please post them below the thread so that we can work through this together. <laughs>